science fiction is a great guide that is shaping how scientists think about their own work. It's, it's shaping research agendas. And, you know, paying close attention to some of the ethical lessons, lessons about ethics and, and values and, and norms by reading the literature, by reading comic books, by watching films. You know, this, this is really informing how science is, is going forward and also how it's being received by society. So if, if you look at, say, Frankenstein, the, what's, you know, regarded as by, by many as, as the first science fiction book, um, you have a story about a creation of science that is neglected by, by the scientist who, who made it. Uh, Frankenstein's laboring in a lab, uh, and when this creature comes alive, he sees this face and is horrified and, and runs away. And a violent cycle erupts, but it's not because the monster is inherently violent. It's only after uh, this creature is rejected by its father, when it's rejected by other people, that violence starts happening. So, you know, we're in this moment where we don't know how genetically modified people are gonna be treated by society. You know, these, these two babies that emerged in China, Lulu and Nana, were deemed monstrous by many media pundits shortly after they were born. Um, so in my opinion, uh, you know, people who have had experimental treatments deserve love, they deserve to flourish, they deserve to have rights in the world just like any other person. For me, the X-Men give a really interesting answer to this question of what does it mean to be human. So if you look at, at the first X-Men movie, it starts out in Auschwitz. So this little boy, this little Jewish boy, is separated from his parents and all of a sudden you see these gates sort of crumble in on themselves. And fast forward, you have the evil villain Magneto, and Magneto's out to destroy humanity. And he's out to destroy humanity because he's afraid a preemptive strike is coming against people like him. He'd lived through one Holocaust, he'd lived through one genocide, and saw signs that another was coming. So I, I think the tendency of humans is to fear the other. And we see that kind of fear play out in all kinds of contemporary dramas, whether those fears manifest towards refugees or immigrants, or those fears manifest towards disabled people who have bodies that are different like us. So, so I think, for me, the figure of the mutant, that sort of allows all sorts of different people who have been discriminated against to identify with that. Stories about the near future, stories about technology and how it might play out in society are also a way to think back about contemporary dynamics and, and think about more ethical ways of living in the time of the now.